Us first, when there was the instability at Rutgers and you weren't retained, just what I know you were at Kansas, then obviously came here. But kind of, what did you think was kind of the next step for you? Like, did you were you gonna stay in coaching? Did you want to stay in coaching? Like, what, yeah, absolutely. What yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I've done for thirty plus years, and I didn't have a, a thought of really doing anything else. Yeah, um, coming from a Power Five defense coordinator job and then being at Kansas as an analyst, what what? What, how did those conversations with, with Craig start? What, what made you want to come out to Wyoming? Well, you know, an analyst job is not an on-the-field coaching yeah. job. That's pretty much an office job, and you do things that uh, help prepare the staff for the upcoming game. Um, you try to work a week ahead of them. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a lot of good work and a lot of good knowledge you can gain from being in a role like that. But ultimately, I wanted to be on the field coaching if I could. Yeah. And uh, this opportunity came up, and I happened to know a couple people connected to Coach Bowl. So yeah. that's how the ball got rolling, and here I am. Did he, did he contact you first, or did you reach out to him? Or kind I of reached that out. Start? Okay. I reached out. What, were, what, did, what did you say to him? What were those first initial conversations like? Well, I just um, expressed my interest because I knew he had a, a linebacker job that was going to be open. Yeah. You know, based on, you know, movement off the staff, and uh, just told him that I was interested in it, and uh, had a couple of guys that I wanted to have try to get a hold of him and tell him a little bit about me, and yeah. uh, one of them happened to be a guy who had worked with him previously, so there was a good connection there, and we yeah. just started a discussion like that. And you were at Kansas. You have a son that's on the Chiefs staff, right? No, he's a player with the Chiefs. Okay, a player. He's a, he was a rookie. Yeah. yeah. So was there any? I guess being close, was there any hesitation coming out here? Well, obviously, I'd love to be able to stay yeah. uh, close and be able to watch uh, him play and those types of things. But ultimately, in this business, you have to do what you yeah. do what you got to do to try to, um, you know, move forward and and uh, stay gainfully employed. Yeah. And uh, the analyst jobs, really, honestly, are are pretty much they're normally one year jobs, sometimes yeah. two. And uh, I just figured that, uh, you know, with all things considered, the opportunity to come here was uh, too good to pass up. Yeah. What was your thought on, on the personnel you inherited at linebacker here? Well, these guys are yeah. good football players. Um, you know, there's obviously you got Cash and Logan, who you just spoke with, and yeah. they're, they're good players, and they've been in the system for a while now, and it's it's pretty obvious when you watch them. Yeah. That, uh, you know, they, they um, have grasped all the basic things that you normally spend a lot of time teaching pretty quickly yeah. so you can move along a little bit faster in your progression. Yeah. Um, and then there's some young guys behind them that are doing a good job too that we got to bring along. You obviously got a, a ton of experience coaching college football. It's just what, what, what kind of coach are you? What, what, what can these guys expect from you? What do you expect from them? Well, I expect them to be prepared and work hard and have good attitudes and be good guys in the locker room and take coaching yeah. and, uh, you know, do all those kinds of things. And if, if they do, which they have, and, and I'm sure they'll continue to, then that'll work out just fine. I'm pretty much a teacher on the field. Yeah. There will be a times where, um, you know, I'm going to get fired up just like anyone else would. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but a uh, pretty, pretty methodical approach as far as that goes. But if you watch on the field, I'm out there buzzing around pretty good. And, yeah. I like to get excited when they do well and congratulate them on big plays. And so I'm, I'm running around there with pretty good energy. What are kind of the, the, the traits that you look for in linebackers? What, what's the stuff that you teach, kind of your, your hitting points, I guess? Well, from a physical standpoint, you like to see length and speed. It's hard to ever pass that up in yeah. recruiting and a talent evaluation. Uh, when it gets to playing the game, you like to see guys that have good football instincts. They know how to get to the, to the ball. Obviously, I had to teach them how to – Go through key sequences and things like that, but you you know you like guys mm -hmm. who have some football yeah. aptitude and football instinct, and and then honestly, just guys that play aggressively. Yeah, with with Logan and Cash, is it helpful to come in and inherit guys with so much experience that are playing pretty much have been playing the same defense for three four years? No doubt, it's easier to do that than to have to come in and teach a new system. And um, you know, when, when Coach and I were talking about this opportunity and the possibility of me joining the staff, it was never a situation where I. Uh, wanted to come in here and try to change anything. Yeah. If I had some ideas that I could contribute that would help, uh, that fit already within the system, so to speak, then of course I would, um, you know, contribute those ideas. But uh, my my main thing come in here was just to be able to pick up uh, where the linebacker room had left off, and um, do a good job coaching those guys, and then you know help coach uh, Dyker, coach Jake as I could, and mm -hmm. um, that's kind of how we've approached it.